While the Texas Rangers nosedived into fourth place last month, another Dallas baseball team continued its winning ways. The Dallas Texans compiled a 22-4 record while marching through city, state, and regional competition. Thursday, the 13- and 14-year-olds traveled to Knoxville to play in the American Amateur Baseball Congress National Tournament. The Texans won the five state regionals last weekend, but victory didn't come easy. After surviving a marathon 16-inning opening game, they encountered an unexpected problem. We woke up Monday morning and about five kids had uh, food poisoning. Didn't get much sleep and uh, we got some medical attention to them, but it was, it was quite a day. They ended up getting out of bed about three o'clock that afternoon. We had to play two games Monday night to, to end up winning the tournament. We did that and ended up beating New Mexico Monday night early and then beat uh, the Oklahoma team for the championship uh, late Monday night. What do you feel is your team's strongest point going into this national tournament? Our strongest point is that we don't have any prima donnas. Uh, the team is in fact a team and uh, everybody knows that and uh, we don't have any superstars and for us to win it takes a, a whole team effort and that's what's done it. Prima donnas or not, right-hander Brian Fluke threw a no-hitter his first assignment in Tulsa, then shook off the food poisoning to win a crucial last today contest 12 to 1. Another hurler, Ronnie Worsham, has thrown 17 straight innings without giving up an earned run. Texan hitters support their strong pitching with a hefty 303 team batting average. It's a safe bet, though. In Knoxville, Roland and his assistants, Dennis Kirkpatrick and Jim Markle, will keep a close eye on the team's pregame meals. Bruce Geetson, Channel 8 Sports.